welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an old tag, and you guys know when tags is floating around, tags is pretty much my favorite thing to do. And they are my favorite still, but tags aren't really that popular anymore. But so today's tag we're gonna be doing is the seven deadly sins of beauty tag. And I didn't really really get into the hype of this tag when it first came out. So now I am excited to just re get into the tag and see what the tag is. So I will tag a couple of YouTubers down below if you are wanting to do a tag. You can, but I'm personally tagging a couple of YouTubers down below. So if you're wondering if you're tagged, then you guys know what to do. You know, if you're tagged, then you have to do it, okay? <laughs> so okay so questions are going to be also linked down below if i do tag you or if you want to reread the questions and you know ponder on it and answer some of the questions in the comments you can as well so i will have them also linked in the description question number one is What is your most inexpensive beauty item? What is your most expensive? Is what is my most inexpensive? And this is the LA Girl High Shine lip gloss. And these are at least two bucks, I believe, at the drugstore. These have great quality and I love them and I have it on my lips right now. And it is in the shade called Playful. So it looks like this is like a frosty bubblegum pink color and I really, really like the color and I really like the payoff and this is like my most inexpensive item that I have in my collection so far and it works so very very great. My most expensive uh, product that I have in this collection is the Lorac Pro. This is like very 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 pricey and it's kind of like $49, well $50 or $44 depending on where you get it from. This is my first ever Lorac Pro palette and it is dirty. So you have to excuse that. Look how dirty that is. Like look. <laughs> that is dirty. So it's kind of dirty but it's still in good condition to use. But yeah this is like my most expensive product out of the, my whole entire collection. So it works really, really well and I really, really like it. beauty products do you have a love slash hate relationship this product right here and I will not support the company again um, this is the Revlon color stay I have a hate relationship I tried using it I'm like what's the point it, the, this doesn't even last even if you apply eyeshadow on top and it sucks so it's like really but even if you try to put a little effort into a look with this it does not turn out as planned so these are the Revlon color stay smoky shadow sticks <laughs> so um yeah and the one I'm holding is in volcanic and I tried to get into it more I really did try but I couldn't get into it any longer I said just get rid of it you know just get rid of it what are your most delicious beauty products I would have to say they're not with me they're in my closet but you know little lip jellies any lip jelly that has like a fruity scent to it it tastes delicious to me I don't know why like any lip jelly tastes delicious to me and it's just the best. It's like heaven on earth and I really really like it so yeah. <laughs> so like any like bubbly um, lip product that has like bubblegum pee, you guys know what I mean. It's going to taste good. <laughs> Alright question number four is... product gives you the most self-confidence I really don't have one 
I really don't have one. If I just don't like it, I just don't like it. And I would just, you know, don't even use it. Just like I talked about these. And I told you guys I do not like it. So, why not? <laughs> you know, don't try to put, for, like, force yourself into something that you don't like. Question number six is what attributes do you have the uh, what attributes do you find the most attractive in the opposite sex? Nothing. Mm -mm. Nada. Nothing. Alright. Seven is envy. What items you most like to receive as a gift? One I like most likely to receive as a gift would have to be any eyeshadow palettes, any um, from the drugstore type, and I will love just to receive them as gifts. I don't know why, I just do. And I didn't do this one, but this is question number four. What beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? It will have to be this beauty product right here. This is the Wet Mild Photo Focus. I did a battle review of this and I also did a review of it in general. And I just neglect this because I know you're supposed to set your makeup after you get finished using it. But whenever I get finished using it, I don't really, you know spray it. I always forget to spray my skin after I use it because I'm like, ugh, I done did all this makeup. I'm ready to go. But then again, it's like, I gotta do this too. And I just forget. So I'll have all the YouTubers that I would like to see do the side listed down below. And also, if you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to this channel. And I do have a second channel, which is A Day With D, where I vlog. And I also have a blog, which is a blog where I just talk about random stuff, everyday life, you know. That'll be linked down below as well, and that'll be realpress.com slash beautybydanity. Alright, peeps, I gotta go, and I will see you soon. Bye! It's another video today. This video is going to be a Watch Me Transform video. I've been seeing a lot of these videos going around on YouTube, and I said, why not I do a Watch Me Transform or Watch Me Beat My Face type video. Um, this look was really not really planned.